リコ先輩。Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Jump Force video. My name is Subarashi, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing, turn on post notifications, and dropping a like if you find this helpful, enjoyable, or you know, overall, you just like me. All right. So,、um, Team Awakening guide. We're going in depth. Everything to do with Team Awakening, you're going to hear first and see with your own eyes. And hopefully, this helps a lot of people. I know. Basically, a lot of people don't know about Team Awakening because they stick to watching just DLC discussions or they play different stuff, and you know, Jump Force is on like the back burner. Completely understand. So,、uh, for starters, we are going to be starting with obviously the most basics of the basics, which is going to be six lights. So let me go ahead and switch out to Jotaro. All right.、Um, there's many different ways, and certain characters can only do certain ones. Okay, so for starters, we're going to be doing six lights, and that's how you know you did six lights. All right, and then you walk up just a tiny bit, and then、oh, after calling out assist, of course. Depending on the assist you use, you'll get different results for your combo. And of course, that doesn't connect. But if I had Vegeta assist on Jotaro, that would work. All right,、uh, and also we have. Let's see here. Perfect smash R3. Walk up just a tiny bit. Call out assist. Say you had Vegeta. Bam, easy damage. And then yeah,、uh, that's a perfect smash. If you don't know what a perfect smash is, it's where you jump, hold X or square, and、uh, when you get that red glow to you, and you see that little line frame of where you're, you know, teleporting, then you let go and you go around your opponent. So, for example, say the character,、uh, say I had Togro assist, right, or、uh, Piccolo. They hit the character, and while they're stunned by that, you can do that in R3. So this is called a perfect smash R3. You know, they're still stunned, but they can't do nothing.、Uh, this is what you see most people do in ranked, and、uh, you see it a lot on Xbox, really. But yeah, so、uh, that's. That is six lights and perfect smash. Now we are going to be getting into the basics. All right, one, two, three. This is a、uh, really a good combo.、Um, what you really want to do after the you know you R three is another three heavies. But depending on the character, it can be slow and they can recover. All right.、Uh, for example, a good character that you can do this with is literally Bisky. Bisky is really good for that. But yeah. And of course, my assistant call out, but obviously delay and whatnot, and you get different results. All right,、um, certain characters like All Might can do a one, but not Marilyn. So I'm gonna switch to、um, All Might and you know other characters、uh, after this. But just for now, I'm showing you a demonstration. All right. Then there is what we call up tilt R3.、Uh, you just do a up tilt call out assist. And voila! All right, they're going to fall into the ultimate, and everything's Gucci. All right.、Um, the only downside of this is some characters that you use can literally go th right through them, and they won't get hit by it. All right. So, for example, very fast characters or characters that go super far will not get you know touched, basically. And I just literally reset this man, but okay. And then I'm just showing you basically what everything you can possibly do with this. And so, sometimes you can reset, but yeah. Anyways,、uh, now we are going to move on to grab bolts. Now I could have showed you with Marilyn, honestly. Let me go back.、Uh, Goku's not the best with this, but also keep in mind grab bolts. Two characters have inescapable ones. Which is Dio and Kakashi. All right, so we are going to set our opponent to guard, of course. And keep in mind, this does not guard break them; it just makes it to where they can't get out of it. All right, all right. So we're going to do one heavy call out assist so that they don't come out.、Uh, do your grab, walk up, assist, ult. All right. 
This is what we call a grab R3 ult. And you know, obviously, as the name implies, we grabbed after an R3 and then we ulted. Alright. So this is really good for characters like Marowim, um, Goku, All Might, uh, also Dio in a sense because he has a fast one, but uh, certain characters are like a certain ways apart, say like uh, Marowim, he's like this, no he's a little bit further back because you can't grab on the initial R3 right here, well sometimes you can't, it depends, but yeah. Um, Dio and Kakashi, this makes for a good mix up, uh, if you do that you're getting 50% right off the bat, plus if you have an assist that connects, you can roughly get 80 to 100% depending on what you're running, alright? So, with this Meryl, alright, we're going to switch to uh, Hiei or All Might for the one, one heavy ultimate and we'll be right back. So we are back with All Might. Uh, Naruto assist and we have Hiei just you know in case All Might's you know tutorial fails but uh, again pretty much all I said was one heavy call out your assist uh, walk, walk up just a nudge call out assist right and then ultimate alright this is your one heavy ultimate certain characters can do it usually the more bulky ones and it keeps the opponent from uh, recovering, basically. All right, so we are going to do a charge Carolina smash. Usually you call out Naruto, but I haven't played in All Might in so long, so forgive me for that. Uh, also, I don't think he can. Yeah, he can actually too, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's switch out to Hiei. This combo, I figured out pretty much, is pretty nice, honestly, nutty. Oh, no, wrong, wrong one. All right, let's see here. So you not walk up just a nudge, right, from the one heavy, and then you can connect. Of course, TA has different ones like, um, say, Perfect Smash R3. He also has three heavies. You can do. Uh, all characters have at least two different possibilities for R3, except for Karapika. All right. So yes, keep that in mind uh, when you're out playing with Team Awakening. I know it can be really fun and annoying for the person getting hit by it, but to the people calling it cheese, you know, you're just a sore loser. Uh, I hate to say it, but it is not cheese. It's a legitimate mechanic. The only way it can be cheese is the final way of learning it, which I, can't, I am not showing. I apologize, but the final way of Team Awakening is borderline cheese I mean hell it is cheese let's let's talk about it alright so you can actually use R3 as a scapegoat simply to guard break cheese and uh, I don't think many people think of this before they call the actual mechanic cheese but using team awakening to guard break cheese that is wrong don't do it folks so uh, do not actually practice that please uh, and then there is another thing called projectile team awakening uh, basically you call out a projectile and when it's hitting if, if you're far away you can just do a light and then do your uh, R3 so that works with say Madara, Sasuke, um, Toshiro all kinds of players like that so I'm not going to be showing those in this video if you want to go indulge yourself in cheese uh, and borderline crap you know you can go for it uh you know again it's your game play how you want but yeah that is going to be the whole gist of the team awakening guide uh, i hope this did help a lot of people and if you did enjoy this and you want to see character exclusive r3 combo guides let me know i would love to make those for you guys uh personally i like team awakening better than regular combos because it's quicker damage and like I said before it's literally a combo in a reverse it's just quicker all right so please make sure to have a great day great night wherever you are in the world and peace out make sure to like the video